Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about some of the most important elements that you need to have on your website to make it effective. I see so many businesses making this mistake and so if you have a website and you're not sure what you're doing with it, you're not sure if it's set up properly, this is going to be a really helpful video for you. And by the end of the video you're going to understand exactly what you need to have on there. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you have any questions or need help with anything, comment below. I make daily marketing videos here, so if you want to get any questions answered, it's a great place to get your questions answered as well. So let's talk about your website. Your website is like your home base, and it's extremely important for your website to be functional, to be professional, to be branded properly. And so there's a few things that you need to do to make sure that it's set up properly. Number one, we need to have good page load times and we need to have good mobile responsiveness. So there's a few things there. First, if your website takes too long for it to load, if it's, if it's slow, you're gonna get penalized for this. And also, not only will you get penalized for it from Google, but you're also going to have trouble with people that are bouncing and leaving from your site because it's taking too long. Having quick page load times um, is going to be as a result of the way that your website's set up. So if you don't have, for example, your pictures um, compressed down, if they're huge file sizes and it takes a long time for all the pictures on your website to load, or if you have videos that are having to load up and things, that can really slow you down and it's gonna hurt you. It's gonna make the people that are coming to the website just bounce and leave. In fact, um, if you take longer than four seconds to load, I've seen some interesting stats on this, that if, if you do take longer than four seconds for your, your page to load, you're gonna lose like something like 60% of the web traffic. I may be wrong there, but I know it's a huge percentage of web traffic that you're gonna lose. So you wanna make sure that it loads quickly. When it loads, it needs to be responsive on all types of devices. People are moving more and more to their mobile devices and they're becoming ever more important. And so that being the case, you need to make sure that the, the website looks great and is fully functional on mobile devices. So if you don't have this set up, Google will also penalize you as well. So you wanna make sure that it's mobile responsive and that it loads really, really quickly. The next thing that you need to have set up is that it needs to have clickable phone numbers and functional phone numbers and Everything needs to be functional both on desktop and mobile, but for that optimizing for that mobile experience, you wanna make sure that people will be able to click and call directly from their, their, their device. They don't have to go back and forth and write down a phone number, and you're gonna get a lot higher of a conversion when you do that. Now, typically in websites in general, you're gonna have your homepage just kind of be like a general overview, and then specifically based on the services or the products that you have, in your business, you're gonna to want to make specific pages for each one of those things. Now there's benefits to SEO for having you know long tail searches and things like that that you can rank for and get traffic for. We're not gonna talk about that specifically. We're just gonna be going over the basics of you know having a functional website. But I think in general, everybody needs to know who you are, how long you've been in business, what you do, where you're located, and what are the hours if you have hours. And, and then basically, how do they take action? I can't tell you how many times I see um, different businesses, especially local businesses who've set up their own websites, they don't have a very clear or simple way for them to take action. If you want somebody to go from being a web visitor to a customer, you need to really, really get clear on what is the action that we're looking for them to take, and then what's the easiest way for them to take that action. It sounds simple, but you would be surprised how many times people forget to do this. Typically, if you're able to put above the fold, so right when the page loads, you can have a very clear way for people to take action, you're gonna have a higher conversion rate because people don't have to go hunting and search for things. Now, if you're doing any kind of paid advertising, you're gonna wanna have specific landing pages and specific pages set up for the different kinds of traffic that you're sending to the website. A lot of uh, businesses specifically will send all of their traffic to their homepage. And you're basically saying, hey, you're interested in this thing that I was just talking about, go figure it out. And that makes it difficult for the, the visitors. You're asking them to do more work. And so when you're asking visitors to do more work, you're gonna have a lower conversion rate typically. The other thing that I think it's very important to have is an about you page. And um, it's important that your branding, the brand that you have set up is really conveyed well in the content that you're putting out. So 
you know, for example, with the, the About Us page, you want to make sure to make it personal, make it relatable, make it about what you're like. And so um, if you want to come off as super professional, you know, use the right words and right language. One thing I will say, though, is that when you're doing the About Me page, and everybody does this, everybody puts an About Me page, it's typically super boring, and it is only about you. Clients and customers and prospective clients and customers don't care necessarily about you, honestly. They, they wonder what's in it for them, right? And you might say, well, if I'm a surgeon, they want to know that I'm a good surgeon. That's exactly right. They want to know in terms of why it would benefit them to do business with you and not the other way around, right? So don't get in the trap of simply just writing about how awesome you are. Frame it in a, why should you care? So if you've been in business for 50 years because you're the most caring, compassionate business, you know, you need to really frame it in a way that, okay, we are talking about a benefit to you. We've been in business for 50 years because we care more than anyone about our customers and our clients, right? So you just turn it into what's in it for me, the reader of the website, and you really help them to get, uh, you know, an understanding of why they should do business with you. Now, the last thing that I would say is that make sure that you have consistent branding, consistent colors throughout the whole website. And then also whenever you have links going out to your website, just make sure that they're always working. If you have a contact us page, if you have a web form on your website, make sure that it works and it's hooked up and it's not just going into a black hole where nobody ever gets heard from. I can't tell you how many leads are wasted where it happens where nobody knows where the leads are going. Nobody knows where the emails are going. And so don't do that. Make sure you understand where it's going. Make it simple and make it easy to respond. The faster that you respond, the more likely you're gonna have new clients and new customers coming into your business. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out by commenting below and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.